to people like the look of the top mount turbo. I personally, if I'm gonna get a single turbo, I'm gonna get a bottom mount turbo. The reason why I'd get a bottom mount is because then I don't have all this heat issue and this heat up here, okay? The bottom mount's gonna keep that heat down. It's not gonna be here. You don't have to insulate this, which they have that gold stuff that looks space age. I really think that's cool. I like the way the top mounted turbo looks, but I'm not into showing my engine off too much. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just want that punch. But a good aftermarket single turbo kit for the best price I found is that JV Works. Okay, that JV Fabrication, they have uh, good precision kits. They have bottom mounts, which I would get, and they're like 2,800 bucks, and which you can't beat that. And you have an option of different turbos. You have the Precision 5862, the 6262, the 6266, and the 6766. Personally, what I'd do is I'd get the 6766, 6766, but because they, they just sell the journal bearings, but I'd get a 6766 and make sure it's a dual ball bearing, ceramic ball bearing turbo because you'll have the spool of a smaller turbo and allow you to have a larger turbo so you can have major power. Um, and, and just that cool, that quick spool because you don't have a journal bearing. So that's your way around eliminating a lot of lag is by getting a dual ball bearing turbo. Plus they're more reliable and having a single turbo, definitely you have one turbo less to, to go out. Uh, if you want to do more track racing, because that's single turbos are more straight line type deal, you could still track race. It's just there's too much power there. Uh, I recommend for like track racing and all around power and having that stock punch, like that almost no lag, uh, Vargas. Those game changing turbos, I've heard, I mean, that. The, those are sick okay so those GC turbos and then they have all these upgraded turbo kits with the G, with uh, Vargas turbos that just go way beyond uh, the game changers but the Vargas game changer turbos I love those because I love the way they open up on uh, where the manifold comes to the turbo to where it goes V band to where you could just pop other turbos in there um, so I really really like that kit it's like if you wanted to get the GC lights uh, you could actually upgrade to probably the regular GC's because it has the same manifold with the uh, actual V-band uh, clamps. So Vargas uh, GC turbos are the way to go with twin turbos if you want to keep it a twin turbo. Um, I think that's even a step up from the bottom single mount turbo, personally. Um, you could probably definitely get more power with the you know Precision 6766 but I don't know if it's more usable power. Um, so the game changer Vargas turbos are the way to go as far as going twin turbos. Of course, you got the Pure and then uh, the RB turbos, but my personal preference is I'd go with the Vargas game changers. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on turbos. Like I said, when you go larger turbos, you're gonna need more fuel. So you're gonna have to get the fuel it or you're gonna get a manifold uh, fuel system. And of course, you're gonna have to have a popped up low pressure fuel pump which all that stuff's pretty easy pretty cheap so that's basic that's just the basic gist on how to get your n54 to uh supercar level oil catch can cool thing about methanol injection is it lowers your intake temps it raises your octane levels it allows your engine to run a higher advanced timing it cleans your intake valves it cools your combustion uh, and it cools your exhaust temps as well and uh, you know it allows you to run a higher boost and it's overall safer for your engine uh, especially when you use it and you run it with a flow sensor and uh, you have your nozzle size and everything dialed with your boost onset there's a lot of variables to water and methanol injection but if you actually get it dialed in it becomes extremely beneficial and it's a lot safer to run uh, with your engine so and uh, if you don't have a flow sensor and you just want to do a basic setup it works as good as a safeguard um, but you don't want to turn your car up to a level to where uh, you just use it as a safeguard you don't turn your car up because of it without a, a flow sensor because you will screw your car up however if you're just running the same amount of boost and you're not turning it up more than you would normally do 
Uh, you can get a little smaller nozzle. You can even spray some water if you have a small enough nozzle uh, at an earlier onset of boost and just, you know, gather up some of the benefits. So that's about it with the methanol injection.